Regular exercise is about more than just looking good. So I'm gonna share with you 13 reasons why regular exercise rocks. Up next. Hey, it's Twan here and this is Heroic Fit, where I help you get fit, stay fit, so you're fit for all life's adventures. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's jump into the 13 reasons why exercise rocks. Reason one, regular exercise impacts your brain health, your memory, your learning. Aerobic exercise specifically has been shown to promote growth of new brain cells and the survival of existing brain cells. So if you need to learn something new or you've got a presentation coming up or you just have to study, uh, aerobic exercise has been shown to boost both short-term and long-term memory. After a certain point, as we age, our brain begins to atrophy and exercise, regular exercise combats that. Exercise actually reduces the changes in the brain that can lead to Alzheimer's or schizophrenia. So exercise for your brain is awesome. It helps you learn new things. It helps you consolidate all those memories and experiences you've had. And it protects your brain and keeps your brain and you mentally sharp as you age. Reason two, regular exercise helps you lose weight. So how much time do you spend a day seated? Whether it's seated at the office, at work, seated for lunch, when you're just relaxing at home, watching your favorite show. A sedentary lifestyle can really impact your weight. And what exercise does, it increases our metabolic rate, which means we burn more calories, which helps us lose weight. And what's cool is you can maximize fat loss by combining aerobic exercise with weight training or strength training by maintaining your muscle mass, which will help keep that weight off. Reason three, regular exercise helps you combat fatigue and increase those energy levels. We all go through periods of time in our life where we feel like we're just juggling so much. We are working late nights, studying really hard. And on top of that, having a never ending to-do list that just leaves us fatigued. Exercise has been shown to reduce the feelings of fatigue in healthy people who had reported persistent fatigue by putting them on an exercise regimen over a six week period. What's more, studies have shown that people who are suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome had experienced increases, significant increases in energy level through regular exercise. Reason four, regular exercise helps you combat stress and helps you feel good, feel relaxed and feel happier. Sometimes we have deadlines to meet, we get into arguments or we receive bad news or we're mulling over a really important decision and all of this can be stressful. And exercise has been shown to improve our mood and decrease the feelings of stress depression and anxiety. Exercise actually increases our brain sensitivity for the hormones norepinephrine and serotonin, which alleviates feelings of depression. Exercise also decreases inflammation, which has been shown to play a causal role in depression and anxiety. Sometimes something could be bothering me or could be feeling anxious or have an important decision to make. But after I exercise, there's never any regret. Every time I've worked out, I've never regretted it. I always feel better. <laughs> Reason five, regular exercise helps you improve sleep quality. We all know sleep is important. It helps us recover and recharge. And although the amount of sleep needed varies from person to person, we can all benefit from better quality of sleep. Sufficient sleep is known to be important for a healthy memory and it even clears out certain wastes from the brain known as beta amyloid plaques that are linked to dementia. The energy depletion that we experience while exercising actually stimulates the recuperative process during sleep. A study showed that just two and a half hours of moderate to intense exercise a week improved sleep quality by 65% and another study involving 17 people who were experiencing insomnia who exercised for 16 weeks were sleeping longer and sleeping deeper than the control group. And think about it, the more quality sleep you get, the more you're gonna feel energized during the day. Reason six, regular exercise helps you build strength and combats frailty. As you get older, your body atrophies. If you're not maintaining muscle mass or function, your body's gonna break down on you. You're gonna be more prone to injuries and possibly disabilities. You can keep your body from atrophying by lifting weights or strength training. Lifting weights or body weight strength training is essential for maintaining muscle and strength as you age. When you combine lifting weights with the right amount of protein, you're gonna be stimulating muscle growth. 
Exercise plays a vital role in maintaining and building bone density. So as you age, your bones are strong and dense and less likely to be prone to breaking or fractures. Because as your bones become more fragile, the risk of fracture greatly increases. So get into some strength training, lift weights or body weights. Reason seven, regular exercise helps you reduce the risk of chronic disease and manage other medical conditions. So a lack of regular physical activity and a sedentary lifestyle is a primary cause for chronic disease. I'm talking increasing the risk of type two diabetes, heart disease, and even early death. Exercise has been shown to decrease blood fat levels, uh, increase insulin sensitivity, improve cardiovascular fitness, and improve blood pressure. Studies have also shown that exercise has helped to relieve chronic pain. In one particular study, exercise was helping participants with chronic pain reduce that pain. And in asthmatics, it's been shown that people that exercise just 30 minutes a day were 2.5 times more likely to have good control over their symptoms. Now for me, I've had asthma pretty much all my life and exercise has done wonders for keeping it in check. Reason eight, regular exercise equals better sex life. Wow, wow. So sex. <laughs> exercise has been proven to boost sex drive. Just think about how strengthening your cardiovascular system having toned muscles, increasing your flexibility, and inc improving blood circulation will improve your sex life. A study on a group of women in their 40s experienced more frequent orgasm when they incorporated more strenuous exercises, such as sprints and weight training into their lifestyle. And a study into 178 healthy men, the men who were exercising more hours per week had higher sexual function scores. Just moving around has been shown to improve erectile dysfunction. In one study, a routine of just walking six minutes around the house helped 41 men reduce their erectile dysfunction symptoms by 71%. This just adds to the perks of avoiding a sedentary lifestyle. Another study of 78 sedentary men show that just 60 minutes of walking on average three and a half days a week improves sexual frequency, sexual functioning, and sexual satisfaction. And for women suffering from polycystic ovary syndrome, which can reduce sex drive, actually increase their sex drive with regular strength training for 16 weeks. So basically exercise if you want to improve sexual frequency, sexual pleasure, sexual performance, and sexual satisfaction. Reason nine, regular exercise helps improve mobility and improve flexibility. <sighs> mobility and flexibility? Do I really need that? Yes, it's so, so important. Focusing on the full range of motion and movement improves your flexibility, your balance, uh, the way that you move, you just move easier, you just move better, and it also prevents injuries. Having a full range of motion sounds so simple, but it's something that most of us don't focus on. For the longest time, I was just focused on getting fitter and getting stronger. And that was great because my body was getting really good at specific motions. But what actually happened was I was developing a body that was severely limited in the range of motion my body was actually capable of. Most kids have a great innate mobility and flexibility but we begin to lose that if we're not learning movement practices. And as we get older, most of us will begin to realize the limitations of some of the things we've been doing. The biggest one for me was the amount of time I spent sitting in a day. The impact it had on my hip flexors, how tight they were, how my shoulders were all rounded and hunched up, and my back, how stiff it was when I'd wake up in the morning or I'd like stand up after sitting for a long, long time. There's a reason why sitting is seen as the smoking of our generation. The good news is you're never too old to focus on mobility and flexibility. Yoga is a great way to get started. The reality is if your body has any weak links, yoga will reveal it to you straight away. Reason 10, pass it on. Think about it. These are skills and mindsets that you can pass on to others. The skills and experiences that, you, that you've picked up and will pick up may one day be useful to someone else. Additionally, epigenetics has demonstrated that we have a great deal of control over our health and our fitness, regardless of what genes we inherited from mum or dad. So even if you inherited genes that predispose you to diseases like cancer or diabetes or morbid obesity, 
you can do something about it. And what's even more intriguing is that in many cases, those changes that we make go on to be inherited. So what you do today could affect the health and the behavior of your future kids and grandkids, just as what your parents did and what your grandparents did affects your health today. Reason 11, build character. The challenge of regular exercise has a lot to do with that resistance that we feel, that inclination to avoid it and just say, I'll fit it in tomorrow. I sometimes view working out like an RPG, a role playing game, where a character has all of these attributes and by working out regularly, you're boosting all your physical attributes and possibly even more importantly, you're boosting all your mental attributes. By exercising and moving regularly each day, you're nurturing that discipline, that consistency, and that determination, and so much more. Reason 12, super ager. Super agers are people who are old by numerical age, but physically fit and mentally sharp. After a certain point, we begin to lose brain mass as we age. And research suggests that one of the keys to maintaining brain mass and remaining mentally and physically young is to push past our comfort zones, both mentally and physically. For instance, people who exercise regularly in their 60s were more likely to be mentally fit in their 90s. Additionally, Dan Boitner, who has researched people who live to be 100 plus since 2000, worked with National Geographic to identify communities that have the highest percentage of the world's longest living people. And these communities had a common theme when it came to physical activity. They moved often and they had opportunities to move throughout the day, like herding, walking and gardening. Reason 13, regular exercise impacts everything you come into contact with. Regular physical activity contributes to our productivity, our creative pursuits, and most of all, it impacts our relationships. Just think about how all of these benefits that come from exercise will impact your relationships from day to day. A question I like to ask myself sometimes with regards to exercise, is who am I doing this for? In order to be the best friend or colleague, best son or daughter, best brother or sister, best girlfriend or boyfriend, best husband or wife, best mum or dad to your kids or future kids, means making time to take care of yourself becomes a priority. So you can stay fit for all the people who care about you and support you. So that wraps up 13 reasons why regular exercise is absolutely awesome, but that doesn't mean there isn't more reasons. I'm interested to know, why do you exercise? Have a little think and let me know in the comments below. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And if there's anyone you know that could benefit from this video, I encourage you to share it with them. And I'm gonna share links to studies and sources that show the impact of exercise on our health, our everyday happiness and our performance. So if you're interested, check out the description box below. With that said, stay awesome, stay heroic, and I'll catch you soon. Okay, I'll look it directly in your eyes, my friend. So if I was talking to Fred, uh, uh, stretch my boy. Oh yeah. Just there, get loose, get loose. So, so, that, so, 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 so.